Good afternoon. There are a bunch of stories coming out of War News 24-7, so I'm just going to cover the headlines and read a short blurb from each article. I will provide all the links below so you can read them at your own leisure. First, we will discuss the ongoing and escalating situation with Russia. During an exercise, an American E-6B Mercury aircraft signaled for emergency action to Norway's Ohio-class SSBN NW or Northwest Nuclear Powered Submarine. U.S. Strategic Nuclear Forces are on heightened nuclear alert. A U.S. Navy ballistic missile submarine, USS Ohio, surfaced in the Norwegian Sea, accompanied by the Ticonderoga class guided missile cruiser, USS Normandy, while the so called EA 6B Mercury Apocalypse plane flew in the air along with the maritime patrol aircraft P 8A Poisidon. The Apocalypse plane broadcast an emergency action message to the ballistic missile submarine. The EAM is a coded message transmitted via BLF antenna on an SSBN for a specific action. U.S. forces conducted a simulated nuclear first strike against Russia, a breath away from Russian borders. The operation lasted five hours. This, operationally, if it had happened, would reduce the possibility of a Russian reaction. Additionally, Russia has made an announcement regarding nuclear weapons and AI intelligence. Russia has made advances in nuclear deterrence that could allow it to guarantee its security for decades, even in an era defined by advances in artificial intelligence, Russia's top armed control diplomat said today. Asked during a conference in Moscow whether Russia can ensure nuclear security in an era of AI competition, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabakov said it can. In recent years, such infrastructure projects have been made in the field of nuclear deterrence that would allow us to ensure our own security in the coming decades, said Ryabakov, the key man in the field of arms control. Our common task is to prevent the world and the multipolar world, above all, from sliding into nuclear chaos, Ryabakov said. In a not-so-good segue into a North Korean discussion, apparently North Korea is sending the first military forces to Donbass with unlimited supplies of ammunition and missiles. A few days after the signing of a defense pact between Russia and North Korea, Pyongyang announced that it would send troops to Ukraine. North Korean troops are expected to arrive on the battlefield next month. Some reports suggest that engineer units will be sent to Donetsk within weeks to support Russia's war with Ukraine, according to North Korea's Central Military Commission. Some other sources talk about a North Korean Army division. Most likely, the beginning will be with the engineer unit, and then the division will follow. North Korea has also bolstered its position at home by launching yet another ballistic missile. North Korea has fired a ballistic missile into the sea area off of the east coast of the Korean Peninsula, South Korea's National Defense General Staff said today. The launch was confirmed by the Ministry of Defense of Japan. Alrighty, that's what I have for you. The links to all of these articles will be posted below in the description and first comment. Lastly, I want to thank whomever it is that is using our Amazon affiliate link. Not many people use it, and anymore it takes a few months to build up the $10 for a payout. That $10 has saved our butts more times than I can count. So whoever is using it, thank you very much. I hope you all have a great day, and I am sure I will see you again soon. Shalom.